Hello everyone, I'm Jess with Black Travelers Network. We provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, but we also cover news that impacts the African diaspora. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to say that our latest publication, Out of Service, is available on the website. This is a 26-page publication of simple money-making business ideas you can offer in this environment. We also have the online workshop, How to Make Money in the COVID Era. Again, you can find these on blacktravelersnetwork.com in our online store. Today's story is a story that people have been talking about, but we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it. The tourism and travel industry all over the world has taken a big hit during the pandemic. We are just now seeing countries reopening their borders after having been closed for months in an effort to protect their citizens and to help diminish the spread of COVID-19. However, some countries are getting creative when it comes to stimulating their travel and tourism industry by enticing travelers to come visit. Barbados is one of those countries that is working to balance both keeping their population safe and still generating revenue for their island country. Barbados is welcoming American and other remote workers with a 12-month visa to stay and work from there. And so a little bit about the visa. Prior to the pandemic, Americans were allowed to go to Barbados for six months without having to apply for a visa. Now they are issuing a 12 month Barbados welcome stamp for anyone who works remotely. Now this means that if you are looking for work in Barbados, you will not be eligible. This welcome stamp is strictly for people that work from home in countries outside of Barbados. So there are a number of you in different parts of the United States, especially places like California, New York, and some of the other states throughout the U.S. where your employers have had you working from home. And this might be an excellent time to take advantage of living the island life while you're able to work your full-time job. So take a quick minute to listen to the Barbados Prime Minister, Mia Motley, and what she has to say about this. There's nothing like waking up and seeing the sun shining. There's nothing like being able to work and go for a sea bath and come back and put in the second shift of work. You can do all of that while still being able to do the things that you do in London or New York. Given that it is anticipated, that there will be a second wave, particularly in Europe, um, come November, December. We believe that we can offer persons who have the capacity to work from home a different um, perspective and and an option that perhaps will allow them to better manage it, particularly given the mental health issues associated with this with this physical pandemic. This invitation is extended for people who are willing to ensure the safety of themselves and others. According to the official Visit Barbados website, travelers coming to Barbados must complete an online immigration and customs form 24 hours prior to arrival. You must also present a negative COVID-19 PCR test result taken within 72 hours of traveling. Now, if you don't wanna do that, you also have the option of taking a test upon arrival if you're unable to present a negative test from the prior 72 hours. The other thing that is mandatory is that you must wear a mask. So anyone who is unwilling to comply with taking a test upon arrival will be denied entry into Barbados. Here's what you need to know if you have to take a test at the airport. Barbados will provide you with government accommodations to wait for your test results. The test and accommodations will be of no charge to you. You also have the option to wait for your test results at a hotel of your choice, but it will be at your own expense. You can also choose to have the testing done at a satellite hotel 
for the cost of $150, where you can also await the results at your own expense. Test results should come within 24 hours. If you test positive, you will be transported to an alternative accommodation for isolation until you have fully recovered. Barbados will then offer you the option of continuing your vacation or returning home. Now, if you choose to continue your stay, travelers from high-risk countries will be monitored and given a COVID-19 test seven days into their stay. If that test is negative, the monitoring will no longer continue. However, if a test is not given, then you will have to be monitored for 14 days. For further information, you can check the website visitbarbados.org. They also have a COVID hotline that you can find on the last page of their travel guidelines. So this is a great option, you guys, for those of you who are finding yourselves in situations where you're working from home, you need a change of scenery, why not go to Barbados and just live the island life? This is almost like a once in a lifetime kind of thing hopefully you know hopefully the world won't get accustomed to global pandemics but this is a very rare opportunity to be able to do that and so if you have the ability to do it i would encourage you to take advantage of it this is a great news thank you guys so much for listening don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time